Hey there everyone, Phil Chu here and welcome to my channel. Today I really wanted to make a ranking video of all of the crops in the game depending on their usefulness and also how much you can use them to get some extra gold in the process. We're gonna be starting off with a parsnip. The parsnip is the first crop that we see in the game given to us from Mayor Lewis and for me it will go to C tier since after that I usually don't even like plant that crop at all. It's not good for money and there's much more like better crops to get in terms of money making so that's why it goes on the C tier. The next crop that we have is the eggplant. The eggplant is gonna go to B tier because of its general look though and like it reminds me of Abigail so that's gonna go there. The kale, however, is not that useful, so for me it's gonna go like on C tier. I never grow it extra like uh, kale on the farm, I just have it only f once for the shipping achievement and nothing else though. The next crop that we have is the beet. Now for this one it gives you access to like the casino I think. Uh, from Mr. Key's request, so I think this is more like important in the game, so it's gonna go on A tier. For the blueberry, like this is a really really useful crop you have. You get loads per picking and like it's really nice to have for some extra money. So this one is gonna go on the A tier as well for me. Like it can get you quite a lot of money like when you're really low on it since you get quite a lot of blueberries from all of the picking. For the next one that we have is the blue jazz. Like the blue jazz comes in different colors and like to be honest I don't like it that much. I only have it at the start of the game when like I need honey. The only thing for the flowers that I really really hate is that they come in different colors. That makes inventory management a real pain in the ass though. It's not hated by me but it's gonna go on the C tier. The bok choy however, I don't like this crop that much though. This crop is really good for money making as I heard but for me like I don't like it that much so I'm gonna be putting it in D tier though. Maybe there's gonna be a lot of people in the comment section below like attacking me for this choice but like come on it's bok choy like there's so many other like crops that you can use to get more money in the long run. But that's only my choice like. The next crop that we have is one of the crops that's gonna go on the S tier instantly and that is the ancient fruit. The ancient fruit is one of the best crops in the game that you can get. And like for me, I usually always fill my greenhouse only with ancient fruit. I don't usually sell it like raw, I go and process it into kegs and then into aged wine. Since that way you can earn a lot more money than just selling it like a raw fruit. For the next crop that we have is the cactus fruit. The cactus fruit like you can get it as a forageable in the desert. But you can also buy some seeds from there or find them in the skull caverns that you can plant on your farm. So this is gonna be going on B tier for me. I quite like the cactus fruit and it's a really nice source of income though. The next one we have the spring cauliflower and for this one though I, I usually go for it for the extra money. Like Cauliflower is one of the more sellable crops in spring, it can get you more money than like, like for example parsnips, but it's not that good though. So for me the cauliflower is gonna be going on like maybe yeah B tier. I usually use it for money, like money making with the cauliflower is really good and like it's gonna help you out a lot like in your first like season. But for the coffee like this is something that I don't know, but like I tried raising coffee on my farm, but it's not that good. I always had like two or three bushes only for coffee and nothing else. I just don't like it that you need to gather five of these then process them into cakes to get coffee. Like when like you can usually just buy the coffee instantly, but that is only something that you can do in the end game when you have a lot of money. 
So coffee for me is gonna be going on C tier only because you can make coffee out of it but not for making money or just growing it on the farm like to expect more income out of it. The next crop that we have is the core and is one of the things that I hate the most to be honest like I have it grown on my farm like through the seasons. This can grow in the summer and fall season as well but that's something that you don't earn enough out of and I really really don't like it that much going into the D tier for me. Now we have the cranberries and like the cranberries as well as the blueberries are also a really great source of income and these are gonna be going on the A tier instantly. The cranberries get some extra bonus points for being Vincent's loved gift so the cranberries are A rating instantly. The next flower that we have is the fairy rose flower and this one is going to S tier by me. This is only flower that gets you fairy rose honey. So the fairy rose honey is really important because it sells for the highest amount of all of the honey in the game. But to get a really profitable income I usually go to the ginger island farm. That whole part is farmed for honey and I usually get around maybe 500,000 gold every 4 days. So this is a really really great income source and that's why the fairy rose is on the S tier for me. Next up we have the garlic and to be honest the garlic is not used much except for getting you 5 golden walnuts on the island farm or for some of the cooking recipes other than that the garlic is really useless. So for me the garlic is gonna be going on the yeah let's go B tier because of the extra use that you get like 5 golden walnuts from the giant frog though so that's quite good. For the grape however this is something that you can find in the forageable seasons like the summer season and like you can also plant it on your farm and cultivate it into wine. Uh, this is something that you should do I think like at the start because you won't have access to the ancient fruit or any of the other ones but it's still a great fruit so for me it's gonna be going on the B tier. Now we have the artichoke and like for example you can't access it until the second year. But the only thing is that the artichoke you may access it in the first year from the mixed seeds even though you're not in year 2. I'm gonna be going like on the C tier with it because I really don't plant it that much on my farm but it's a really good like crop as well. The next crop that we have is the green beans and to be honest like this crop is one of the more useless ones in the game. I plant a few of these for some of the community center but other than that and like making green hot pot for Demetrius like I don't find any other special use for it so it's gonna be going on the D tier for me. The hops as well like the hops is more like for beer making but it's gonna be going on C tier only for that that you can make beer out of and you can give it to Pam. Now the hot pepper. Like the hot pepper is something really important like it's a loved gift by Shane. It's a really good thing to have. Uh, for me this is gonna go on the B tier only for that reason. You can also craft a few like cooking recipes with it so that's an awesome thing. The next crop that we have is kale. Kale is one of the crops that give you the most experience like I think it was when you pick it up and when you harvest it basically and like it's a really good like source of experience for farming. But for me I usually don't like plant it on my farm as well only for some of the shipping like uh, achievements. Other than that like it's quite useless so for me this is gonna be going on like D tier even though it gives you like extra experience. But the melons. I just love the melons though. The melons are one of the most important crop for me and that's surely gonna go on the A tier. You can make melon juice out of it, make it into preserve jars and like there's so much use for this. Uh, for making cakes as well because some of most of the cakes are loved gifts for some of the villagers so melons are really important in the game. But the next one is the pineapple. The pineapple was a new addition in a 1.5 update and it's gonna be going next to the melon as well since it's a re-harvestable crop and it's a really nice source of income 
which you can either make preserve jars out of it and like sell them for a higher price. I also included all of the tree fruits that we can get. The apple is on the D tier for me instantly because I don't I always just have the tree only for the community center. I don't usually grow them most of the time and like I just leave it at that. The apricot is also on the D tier for the same reason, but the banana has a much higher tier and it's on the B tier, only because it's needed for the ginger island obelisk. So that's a really important thing to have and that's why it's on the B tier. The cherry is on the D tier as well. Uh, let's not forget the thing that they are loved like as a loved gift for like most of the villagers in the game but other than that like I just don't like those trees. The mango however is gonna be going on the A tier and the only reason is because it's Leo's loved gift. So this is quite important to have and I really 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 want to have it in my farm. Orange is gonna be the only fruit tree that's gonna be going on the C tier from the normal ones which were orange added in the 1.5 update. That's the only reason because I love oranges, like who doesn't love a good orange juice though? So that's why this is going on the C tier. I would have loved uh, if the game had like an orange juice max energy plus 20 like in the game but that's not happening though the plum and the pomegranate are also going on the d tier so those are like from the fruit trees those are my choices i don't know maybe in the comment section i'm gonna be attacked for this choice but still like some of you will agree with me on this but we'll see the next flower that we have is I think it's the poppy yeah it's the poppy for me like the poppy is also on the level of the jazz like it's gonna be going here the only thing that stands corrected is that it's not as good as the fairy rose honey like n none of the flowers that we have are so the poppy is gonna be going here on this tier uh, due to that the potato however is one of the things that's gonna be going on the S tier. The only reason for that is in the spring season as you start your farm. One of the crops that you should aim for is either the potato or the cauliflower. But the potato is much more better since it has a chance of giving you more potatoes per harvest. So this is a really great source of income and come on let's be honest like you can make french fries. Like who hates french fries? The pumpkin is one of the best crops for me in the game and like when it comes the fall season I don't plant anything else except the pumpkin. And like that's why the pumpkin is on the S tier only because of those like reasons and also like you can make a lot of pumpkin preserve jars and they sell for quite a lot which can get you a lot of money in the long run. The next one is one of the crops that we don't see much often and that is the radish. I never planted it and don't know what it's uh, like used except for some of the cooking recipes. So for me the radish is gonna be going on the D tier for sure. But this one, this is a nightmare of a crop. Only because if you're planning on doing a speedrun, you will depend on a lot of luck to get this crop. For me because of that reason I hate the red cabbage and the only thing is gonna be going on the C tier for me but the red cabbage can be quite the nightmare to get and I think that a lot of will agree with me on this since uh, they probably lost a lot of like speedruns due to the red cabbage. The next one that we have is the rhubarb I think it was pronounced sorry if I butchered that like pronunciation but this is also one of the more like useless ones that I don't even plant you can buy it from Sandy and for me it's gonna be going on the D tier. Now the next crop is one of the more special ones that you can buy from Sandy and it's the starfruit. The starfruit for sure is gonna be going on the S tier only because that we can make so much wine out of it and like age it as we do with the ancient fruit and it's a really really good source of income for the farm. So the starfruit is the way to go. And also speaking of fruit we have the strawberry. The strawberry is also one of the best crops in the game that you can get on the 13th of spring 
and the strawberry that you get on the 13th of spring will have a huge impact of your playstyle, depending on how many you can get and how much gold you will earn due to that, which will get you like through the rest of the seasons. So the strawberries are really important in the game. Now we have the spangle and to be honest I never go for the spangle from the flowers. And the same can be said for the sunflower as well. Uh, this is one of the more like, how can I say, useless things that you can get. It's one of the crops that they really don't like planting. To be honest, the sweet gem berry will go on the C tier. The sweet gem berry is quite useless since you just sell it for a lot of money. You can process it to wine, you can process it to anything, you just sell it as it is. But it's on the C tier only because old man cannoli in the secret woods wants one of these in order to get a star drop. If it wasn't due to that reason, it was gonna be straight D. The terror tuber, however, uh, I'm like hesitant on putting it on D or C, but it's gonna be going on C as well, only because it's used as a currency at the Ginger Island Trader. The next like we have is the tea leaves. The tea leaves will be going on the B tier, like instantly, only because you can make tea out of them and they sell for quite a lot, making it a really nice source of income. The tomato, however, is one of the like more useless ones, but it's needed in a lot of like uh, cooking recipes, so it's gonna be going on the C tier, at least. The tulip will be going on D tier as well, since I really don't use it on my farms, but the rice, however, is gonna be going on C tier only because you can make flour out of it. You can plant it near water and it will just grow itself. You don't have to water it or anything like that. The wheat, however, is also going gonna go on C tier. You can use it like on the farm as well. So that's something that I'm gonna be keeping here on the C tier. And the last crop that we have is the yam which is going straight to D tier because I never remember planting that thing. Uh, maybe once for to have it at least, but nothing else. There you have it. This is my like ranking list for all of the crops in the game by my use and my need as well. I think that I'm going to be getting attacked by a lot, maybe due to the bok choy, or the fruits or I don't know, maybe the flower somehow, but like well, that's my choice, and I think you should all learn from me, come on. I think that some will agree with all, with all of these, but still. But, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel, since I will be making more of this into the future. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.